Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx and welcome back to the Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye. I, I, I am hooked again on this freaking silly little game. It's not a silly little game, I'm sorry. Don't get, don't come out, put the pitchfork down. I love this game. I love everything about it. I, the, the, the DLC is kind of hit me with like a proper sucker punch of different emo different emotions. Emotions? What was I saying? That first bit of going to the stranger was a roller coaster because on the kind of the, the, the way to the stranger when you can just see the black disc, right? I genuinely felt sick. It was it was a real weird feeling. Um it was so incredibly alien in such a simple way. It's not like the other places we've been, the other system, the other, you know, planetary bodies in the system that we've been to. This was something else, it was something entirely alien. Something as simple as it's on a different plane to the other planets. It really threw me off guard. And then when I realised that the sun had disappeared, that was just another bit. Seeing the stranger from the outside was terrifying. The soundtrack was cruel. Especially when you land in that first bay. And then the raft reveal. I felt that kind of playful wonder again. That It gave me a smile that I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch of if you've seen the rest of the playthrough so far. It gave me that sense of wonder again. And that is really important to me. There's a few changes that I am going to make from this point going forward. You guys did try to warn me and you did say make sure you use the freeze time when you're reading things, when you're reading the ship log. Especially in the DLC. The DLC almost requires it and it does become quite difficult without it. I can see why now after getting wiped out by the tsunami. So. For the DLC series and the DLC series alone, I have now enabled freeze time when reading and when interacting with the ship log. I'm not happy about it. You know my feelings on it. I personally, I quite like the immersion. But because this is such a linear kind of storyline, this is quite a lot more linear exploration. And because we are quite pressed for time, by the time we do get there, I need every minute that we can get. So, we're going to do that. You guys win. <laughs> I accept that. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get back into this. Another change that I am going to make, um, and some people have already kind of picked up on it, and... Hey! Hold up a sec. Yeah, 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 I already know about the launch codes. What? No, I was going to tell you about using the ship log to set destination markers for locations you visited before. It's a brilliant feature, if I say so myself. Dead useful, and the risk it poses of shortening out yeah, the fuel regulates from causing the ship to explode is so minimal that only Gosan would worry about it. Use ship log to mark a location I want to revisit. Got it. How minimal are we talking? Minimal! Stars above, you worry too much. If anything's going to kill you, it's the autopilot. Thank you, Slate. Wow, Slate, how do you come up with these incredible ideas? Oh, I do the best I can with what I've got. Really, you're too kind. This was extraordinarily convenient timing. Thank you. Also, that's not what my voice sounds like, but that is what my voice sounds like. Sure thing, actually. Anyway, I've got a fire to enjoy, and you've got launch codes to grab. Go wild with a marking feature while you're out there. Just, uh... Try not to follow it so directly you fly into the sun, okay? I feel like that's a dig at a certain place. That was weird. I've never been grabbed by another character to talk to. I don't believe I think I don't believe that's happened before. I don't believe a a character has started the conversation with us. Except maybe maybe Slate did when we first woke up. I can't remember. Right, does that mean I can mayhaps use the log to get back to the stranger because that would be really cool if I could that would be so helpful 
So there's a massive artificial ring world hidden within some kind of cloaking field. It does not appear to be Harthian or Nomayan in origin. Any ah! Can I... Yes! So do I not have to go back to... Do I not have to go back to the Deep Space Satellite every time? A low-lying region near the entrance to the Stranger. There are wooden buildings along the banks of the river. There is definitely more to explore here. And then there is a cliffside building. I saw a building marked with a unique symbol recessed into one of the canyon walls. But the bridge that used to lead to it has rotted away. That's where we got to at the end of the last episode. Okay, I'm here for this. If I can just fly straight to the stranger, that would make me real happy. I can just fly to it? Really? Okay. I'm I'm here for this. This saves me a lot of the time. I was expecting to have to go back to the deep space satellite and then wait. I can deal with it. Anyway, what I was going to say, we've changed a few things. You'll have noticed I started doing kind of cinematic outros to things, and they've always kind of been there. But I appreciate it has started to kind of come at the expense of perhaps the... I hate that. It's kind of come at the expense of my end game kind of commentary and reflection kind of time. So, what the idea is, effectively, is if it's a short episode, so if we're doing one of the shorter style ones where it's just one loop, you guys get reflection time at the end. If it's a longer one, and maybe I've done two or crouching on three loops, it's just easier for me to not do that. And I know that sounds really bad. Um, I don't have oodles of time. So that's why if there isn't reflection at the end, it's because I've given you a bit of a longer episode. And I'm pressed for time. Okay. Right. Well, we've got all our stuff. I'm glad the soundtrack didn't play this time. Because it freaked me out. I remember there being a ship that side last time. I'm going to go review some footage. Because I'm pretty sure you were over there. I know you were there. But I could have sworn you were not there. But that could just be me being really silly. I also love that the these guys' ships are just straight up. Are we in a different hangar? What? Do I only get to experience the joys of the rafting music and the drop one time? Oh, I came at it from the opposite side. That's what it was. Don't worry, I know now. It's because I came at it from a different direction. Oh, oh, get on there. That's That's got to be it, right? Surely that's got to be it. Yeah, we came at it from the opposite side. We were on that side last time. I really want to just keep going. Wait, wait, wait. I just saw a thing. I just saw a thing. I really want to keep going just so I can get the music playing, but we have an actual exploration suit. I just saw a thing, and that cements when this thing has turned up. This thing has turned up here. This thing has been here since a certain other stranger in the system has been here. That is ghost matter. That's ghost matter. This thing has been here since the interloper's been here. A 
or since before, even. Right, I think I can sneak by here. Oh boy, there's a whole bunch. So we're in the roof. Hello, my darling. Hello, my honey. Okay, so... So far... Okay, there must be a way in from the bottom. What is all this? I beg your pardon. Oh wow, what's that doing? Deploying some kind of like solar sails or something? Right, where can I stand? Where can I not stand? I can't stand over that side of things. I can stand over here, but not on that table. Not that I want to necessarily stand on the table. I love the style of everything that these guys have. I'm already holding an artifact. Okay, so this looks like I can hold something. And my guess is it's something to do with lights, because these guys love light. Right, there's a lot of their stuff that is light based. So, was it over? We, I think we're at the same village that we were to start with. What happens if I go over there and Beg your pardon. And grab a light. Already holding on to I was incorrect, it would seem. Ah, that looks to me like I could put that in there. Apparently not. Okay. Never mind. So these guys heard the eye. They heard the call of the eye. I'm going to leave that there. I know where to get it if I need it. They heard the call of the eye, and that's why they came here. Now, I would argue that these guys are definitely up there tech-wise with the Nomai, just in, like, slightly different ways, because, my God, like, the Nomai had the vessel, yes, okay? This, to me is immediately more impressive. And I'm not trying to shut down anything the Nomai achieved, because the Nomai achieved wonders, right? But this is a, this is a ring world. This is a halo. This game, like I can see why you guys were saying the DLC out of everyone was made for me. It's, it's maritime mixed with halo, mixed with outer wilds. And I love it. Right, let's have a look through here. Hopefully without being inter like interrupted this time. So, we have the music. Okay, just checking that the music was tied to this and not tied to the other. I did think that the soundtrack was tied to this. So, the eye. So, the eye called out and what's the eye called out and whatever this system is these guys hear that or they see it anyway he can shoot freaking laser beams out of his eyes you can keep that mouth closed He's losing his mind. Oh, 
Oh no, it's all... So they start building this vessel, this stranger. They deploy the sails and off they pop to the eye. Okay, 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 cool. So, starting to get an idea of fairly similar to the Nomite, but these guys, they, they didn't they didn't even look like they had spacefaring technology at that point. Did they make all this themselves? Oh. made me incredibly uncomfortable. I I just had visions of that thing straight up just coming out of that <laughs> you know? I just had images of that thing just kind of crawling out of the, the picture. And it would have been funny, I guess. I would have absolutely cacked myself. Alright, so is there anything... I still don't know what this artifact is. I don't know what it's going to be used for. I don't know what that is over there. You can see that blue. I don't know what that is. That's that's some kind of bug. Let's, go, let's have a little bit of a look around. Because this is all... That... Damn, ain't looking too pretty, actually. We should get to the next raft, I think. I saw a raft down here somewhere. Come on, raft. I'm taking this with me. Come here. Oh! So, some of these places I'm not going to be able to get to until the water goes up, which is quite cool. Oh. Now, this place is definitely going to get flooded soon. While I have some semblance of time. Let's try and have a look. I also love that music. Yeah, that that dam is looking not too healthy, so we need to keep an eye out for that. To that extent, no, keep the artifact with me. Keep the artifact with me. Keep the artifact. With me. Which side do I do first? No, this way. This bit looks decrepit and horrible. A temple. Temple to the eye. It's a bit like the Nomai had a temple to the eye, didn't they? It is weird how it looks like this to both cultures. Like, this is a little bit more organic looking, I'll give you that. But both cultures have the same idea of what it looks like. Shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god. Hold on. Was this a mistake? The buildings! No! This is uncomfortable! Right, you know what, I've, I've been here before at least, I'm just, I'm getting, oh, 
I don't even know if there's anything in the water here, but that was... I don't like being in deep bodies of water. Alright. Next time. Don't... Don't do that. Don't do that. Now how... The hell... Oh, we're right behind the dam. Oh, this is much smaller than I was expecting it to be. Okay. Now, I don't believe I'm going to be able to make it over there. I don't have huge amounts of the old jump pack juice. I mean, if you don't try, you don't get, I guess. Worst case, I end up back in the water again. Oh yeah, I have <laughs> nowhere near enough. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. I can activate the artifacts. Right, okay, there's nothing here for us. I'm going to have to be brave. I'm going to have to be a big brave boy. Uh. Come on. Stuff. What do you mean vitals low? I know my vitals are low. I know my vitals are low. Why are you telling me that they are low? I swear if I see anything in this water, I am gonna freak. Well, this is looking a bit better. I'm guessing... Oh, hell no. I do not like the look of that Iron Maiden looking thing. I'm guessing this area is inaccessible at the beginning, because this is all flooded. This is all... I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. You are going to be the last thing I look at. You are making me really uncomfortable. I also don't know why these owl people, these owl fellas, are making me so uncomfortable. <laughs> like, they are just creatures, they're just explorers like me, but there is something about their demeanour that is just giving me, like, cryptid vibes. And I really do not enjoy it. But they must have, like, families and stuff. You know? Ah! Another one of these. I don't know what this artifact does. Ooh. Oh. Right, there's a reel there. Don't like how dark it is. No, no, no. I don't want to keep turning the lights off, please. Right, so, there was a lantern, I believe, over here. So, we, this can go uh, and pop this up here, like so. Turn the light off so I don't close the doors. No, I said so I don't close the So I don't close the doors. I'm gonna have to. Oh, this one's damaged. This one's damaged like beyond repair. Worth a shot, I guess. Before we go up that way. I think it's maybe the swamp vibes that aren't helping. You know, so it is just giving me cryptid vibes. Uh, oh, cool. So there must be a reel somewhere about the artifacts. Oh. A 
Okay. So why did they lower it? So whatever it... Whatever they put in there, they've locked in there. And then they built that shrine, that kind of sarcophagus around it. That is what we need to get into, and I don't really feel like I want to. What? Uh. Okay, so I've got a bunch of different symbols. I'm not going to look my way into that. I, I, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to look my way into that. Is anyone at home? Anyone got any hints as to how one might open that door? Oop. Ha! Right, what's that? Sun, eye, fire, eye, fire. Uh, uh, where was it? Oh. So. Sun. Fire. Eye. Oh, wait, no. Was it sun, eye, fire, eye... Yes. Oh no, come on, please. I just need a few more minutes. Just a few more. So that's the stranger, there's... Is this broken? Well, obviously it's broken, but is this what they need? What do I need to do? I, I just feel like I have so many more questions. I feel like I have even less of an idea of what's going on now. Whatever it is, it's got something to do with that. That tower's fallen over. This world just completely changes when that goes. There's something over that way. There's a little village over there to explore. But I think I can only really reach this bit when the, when the water level's higher. So I'm gonna have to find a way. I'm gonna have to rush around here and get here sooner. There's got to be a way to translate this language as well. Surely it's not gonna register that there's a language if I can't learn it somehow. What? I wasn't killed by the supernova. How did the supernova not kill me? That changes things. That changes things. I, I didn't die to the supernova. I was just recalled by the twin project. So what does that mean? 
What does that mean, Slate? You're the smart one. So they can protect themselves from a supernova? Somehow? What do you think, Micah? No? Okay, I've just realized you got a hole in your sock. That's adorable. They can survive a supernova if they so choose. Which is strange. Like, how can they do that? It, it, even in... Then again, even in the Ash Twin Project, it's safe. You just get pulled. So these people, they, these... Freaklets, these owl people, these wanderers, they found a way to protect themselves. They, they've built a sturdy ship, which is really impressive for me. I have so many thoughts and I'm actually struggling to articulate them for once, which I know is quite a rarity. Usually I'm very good at articulating them. I need to know what's in that sarcophagus, but I also feel like I don't want to know. I feel like there's quite a lot of stuff that I want to explore first before I delve into that. There's a lot of stuff that I want to have a good look at first. It is interesting though that there's different sides to the, to the stranger that we can kind of access. What is that thing? What's in there? And why do I feel so uncomfortable there? Why do I feel so... At one moment I'm so at peace, so... Energetic and happy and... Wondrous, and then the next I'm terrified. I guess the only way to find out is to go and have another look another time. But so far guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I've been Sturks. You've been just incredible, and I'll catch you all later for the next part in our little adventure.